good day welcome to day for pc in today's tutorial we'll be talking about how to add the strolling text to your easy worship maybe your church address your account number or if you have a message you want to pass across to the congregation the first thing you are supposed to do is to come to this alert once you come to alert you come to this message alert you click on it and you come to this create edit alert template it already i have a, a text already but let me add another one if you have to add another one let me let me say i want to add a program that will be coming up so I'll come to this place and add you can add so i'll give it a name let me call it um cruise let me call it reviver so you're having a reviver and the time the team of the river says oh lord of elijah Lord of Elijah. So let me just say um first king seventeen. Yes, that's where it is. So now the other thing you're going to look at is this say display method. When you click on you see you have static strolling scroll when needed. So you have to tell it that you want it to be strolling. And it tell you display count. You have to say how many times do you do you want it to stroll? Is it three times? You have we have read the numbers here. We have one. We have two. We have three. So I will say until I remove. Until I remove. This one says until token expiration, but the best one for you to choose is until I remove. So you leave it there until you yourself remove it. So I'll just click on OK. Yeah. So we can see I have one here, all of Elijah. That is the um, the um, the river coming up. And if I want to add another thing to this, oh Lord of Elijah, I will come to this edit panel here, and I will click on Ash behind open file open file markets open file market. Um, Equal to yes, equal to Ibe Ibe Joe Ibe Joe Lucky Lagos State Lagos State. You can see I add another thing, and if I say, uh, I can give it a space for inquiry. Inquiry, please call zero seven zero eight five four four seven six seven eight. Okay, so that's it. Okay, you can see the, the text is now quite long. Then I click on close here. Yeah. So now the text has been added, but it's not in use. So to use what you type, you come to this same place. You can see you have the two here already. So once I click on this address, the address will start displaying. So I come to show. You can see it's now displaying. You can see it's displaying. This is it over here. This is my live output. You can see the text is scrolling. That's how you show the text. And if I want to display the other one, I'll come to this same side here. I'll click on this reviver. But this reviver will not come up. So I need to remove this one. So once I remove this one, then I click on. You can see this one is not going. You can see this one is not going. So it's just for you to know that okay, which one which am I putting next? I'm putting this few, this one next. So I will just remove this one. As I remove this one, as soon as the other one finish, this one will take over. So let's just look at it. Hide. Let's just, you can see hide for your own, for your, if you want to be faster, just hide that one and click on this one and click on show. So that one will pick up immediately. So that's how it works. So now, you can see now that this text, it's, it's more okay moving like this. So what? We have some. We want to present 
this kind of um, um, strolling text, like this is our church address, moving below it, and the ministration is going, and the choir is singing the hymn, for instance. And let me say, for instance, this kind of hymn. Now, look at this hymn now. This hymn now, you can see that it's long, like the text now is covering it. You cannot see the other part of the hymn. So what are you going to do in this kind of case? So you click on the hymn, you right click, and you come to edit song. So once you come to edit song, you click on it, then you drag it up. You click on it, so you drag it up, you come to the verse 2 as well, you do the same. come to verse 3 as many standard as you have in the game so you click on apply and okay so if I'm to launch this thing now you cannot see that the, the hymn now we can see the complete hymn and we can see the you can see we can see the complete hymn and you can see this text so what you you are not a kind of person that like the red background so all you need to do is to come to file oh no you come to edit sorry you come to option then from here you come to alert you can see main output that is what you are displaying so you come to main output so in this main output we have primary we have a nursery alert and we have message alert so we are talking about message alert so you come here and you click on any color you want maybe you want the one of green you can see your preview here this is your preview here like this what you what the outcome will look like so this is it over here so you want green or you want blue okay let me see that the blue is okay and if you want to reduce the opacity like this, you want it to be a bit transparent. You don't want it, the blue to be kind of deep. So you can just reduce it by just dropping this thing. You can see now that we can see the faint say, written letters here. So let me just drop this to 50. So I think it's okay for me like that. Okay, let me leave it at 45. Okay. Okay, so if i should okay the location normally should be at the bottom so this is the control speed the stroll speed you can see now if i should increase this thing now you can see that the text is moving so fast but if i should reduce it the text will be moving so slow so depending on what you want the how the text to stroll so you can just replace this a bit and that's all for me and now i can come to this message here and click on the font I want. Maybe I don't want this um, this font. Maybe I want the one of my best font. Is this is my best font? Yes, this is my best font. This this is the font I love using the most. So you can see this is how it looks like. And if you want to increase increase decrease the size, maybe it's too big. I want to decrease the size. So you can just decrease the size of the text from here. So, what color do you want the text to hold? Is it black? As you can see, as you are changing everything, just be looking here. So, you'll be seeing what you are doing here. So, you can see that the black is not okay. So, let's leave it as blue. Or depending on the color you want. So, I can just leave it like that. So, once, once I'm done with all this, my editing here, click on OK. So if I should click on, you can see now it changed immediately. It changed immediately. So if I'm to come to this place and um, I remove this one, it will go off. Now let me click on um, our revival. I will add the one that was strolling before. So I click on this one and I will click on show. So this one will start showing. You can see oh God of Elijah. So it's going. I see now this is strolling so this this how you add a strolling text so you can see even when the uh, the aim is going even while the aim is being 
present uh, be presented to the uh, uh, congregation you can see your strolling text is still moving and okay uh, there's another thing i want to show you in this tutorial in our previous video we talked about how you can add a uh, camera to easy worship and the one that we did last we talked about how you can create a lower touch something like this so maybe you check our playlist and look at how you can do it so for instance so if I should click on this now, okay, that's my camera. I so you can see this is the text it's still scrolling, and the Bible is still displaying at the same time, and this is me over here on the camera. So this is how you can add the scrolling text to your ministration in Easy Worship. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Um, you can give us a comment below to hear from you how this has helped you and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and please you can subscribe to this channel to to hear from us anytime any day we drop a tutorial like this and see you in the next video thank you